Manchester City finally a make a formal bid for Declan Rice worth a guaranteed £80 million plus £10 million in add-ons, and Arsenal will counter with their third offer for the West Ham captain inside 48 hours. Arsenal are set to make a third offer for Declan Rice inside 48 hours after Manchester City finally tabled their formal bid for the West Ham captain worth £90 million. Arsenal will imminently counter with an improvement on their own £90 million offer that was rejected last week, though the forthcoming proposal will not be in direct response to City's bid. City's offer comprises of a guaranteed £80 million plus an extra £10 million in add-ons. The proposal beats Arsenal's previous rejected bid of a guaranteed £75 million plus an additional £15 million in bonuses. It remains to be seen if City's offer is accepted by West Ham, but the bid will focus Arsenal's efforts to sign Rice, who is Mikel Arteta's number one target. Pertinently, West Ham value Rice at £100 million, a price City have fallen short of. And indications on Monday night were that West Ham were minded to reject City's offer. Sources claim that Arsenal's third offer will be closer towards the Hammers' £100 million valuation. The payment structure is also emerging as a factor, with the Hammers wanting the guaranteed portion of the fee for Rice to be paid in two installments before 2025. Rice has been heavily linked with Arsenal since before the transfer window opened but a deal has yet to be struck. City, meanwhile, have lost Ilkay Gundogan, with Barcelona confirming on Monday that they have signed the German international on a two-year deal. City are close to the signing of Mateo Kovacic from Chelsea for £25 million but still want to sign Rice. Raya's vast amount of Premier League experience, he has played over 200 times in the division, makes him an attractive proposition, as does the fact that at the age of 24 he has time on his side to improve even further. Arsenal are also closing in on the signing of Kai Havertz from Chelsea for £65 million. Mikel Arteta's side have also made an improved bid of £41.5 million for Ajax defender Jurian Timber. However, they especially want to sign Rice as part of a midfield overhaul this summer, with Granit Xhaka likely to join Bayer Leverkusen while Thomas Partey could also depart. If Arsenal are unable to sign Rice then Monaco midfielder Yusuf Fafana could be a potential alternative option. West Ham captain Declan Rice has been tipped to snub a move to Manchester City in favour of Arsenal in the summer transfer window by former Liverpool and England forward John Barnes. It comes as the two teams battle it out for the signature of the 24-year-old. The Gunners have often been the favourites to sign the England international as part of a huge midfield revamp that could see Granit Xhaka and Thomas Partey leave. Declan Rice is a top priority for Arsenal this summer, though they won't be dragged into a bidding war. The North London outfit have seen their opening two bids, with total packages worth £80 million and £90 million respectively rejected by the Hammers. A third offer is expected, with personal terms already agreed, that should see the total package reach closer to the valuation set. However, interest from rivals Manchester City has thrown a spanner in the works and Arsenal may have to work fast to ensure a deal is completed. At this stage, a bid from Man City are premature, though they do hold a keen interest. Given the amount that the Premier League champions can spend, alongside a greater probability of competing for the top trophies for the future, it could be seen as a more enticing move. Though on the other hand, there's the possibility of winning Arsenal their first Premier League title in 20 years, while being a key player. For Barnes, it's the latter that may be more tempting to Rice, who he has tipped to snub a move to Manchester City. Barnes said that, Arsenal have made two bids for which will probably get up to £100 million so Arsenal makes more sense. Not because they're better than City but because Arsenal are more interested and I think he wants to go to Arsenal. That will be the best thing for him. Rice will fit into Arsenal's way of playing in that holding midfield role. £100 million for Rice means he goes straight into that Arsenal team as the holding midfielder. Protecting that back four and bringing solidity, which is what the Arsenal team needs. Another question for Barnes is whether Rice would fit into Pep Guardiola's system, claiming he would be competing with Rodri for a place in the team. Barnes continued, I don't think Manchester City are interested in Declan Rice because they've got Rodri. And I don't think Pep wants two holding midfielders. It remains to be seen whether that outcome will favour Arsenal in the coming weeks or if a deal may swing to the way of Manchester City. However, it appears as though a crucial stage of talks are approaching before the future of Rice is any clearer this summer transfer window.
Arsenal are edging closer to reaching an agreement with Ajax over the signing of Holland defender Jurian Timber, who is expected to cost around £40 million. Talks are ongoing with Ajax over the sale of Timber, who is capable of playing as a right-back and centre-back and will add much-needed depth to Arsenal's backline. Timber is believed to be keen to make the move to North London despite interest from other European clubs this summer, including Bayern Munich. Arsenal's initial proposal to Ajax was around £30 million but the Dutch side have been hoping to receive a fee closer to £50 million. Negotiations are continuing and Arsenal are confident that a deal can be struck. Telegraph Sport understands that Mikel Arteta and sporting director Adu believe 22-year-old Timber is capable of playing as an inverted right back, tucking into midfield when Arsenal have possession. Timber would therefore be able to mirror the role played by Alexander Zinchenko at left back, thus providing Arteta with more options and variety as Arsenal look to balance Premier League commitments with Champions League football next season. Reports in Holland have said that Timber has effectively agreed personal terms with Arsenal and is prepared to sign a deal worth around £130,000 per week. The defender appeared to drop a hint on social media this weekend when he posted a song by American rapper, Gunna. Ajax's recently appointed director of football is Sven Mislintat who served as Arsenal's head of recruitment from December 2017 until February 2019. Arsenal's lack of depth in defence last season was one of the main reasons they were unable to sustain their title challenge in the latter stages of the campaign, with injuries to William Saliba and Tukahira Tomiasu proving disastrous in the final weeks. Arteta this week admitted that these injuries proved fatal to his team's hopes of beating Manchester City in the title race, saying in an interview with Marca. There were three or four injuries to important players and from there, everything got complicated. Timber's arrival, if a deal can be agreed, would lessen the burden on Ben White at right back and also reduce Arsenal's reliance on Saliba in the heart of their defence. Meanwhile, Arsenal are expected to confirm the signing of Kai Havertz from Chelsea after the German underwent a medical in Spain over the weekend. Arsenal have agreed to pay around £65 million, including add-ons, for the 24-year-old. Havertz will provide competition for Gabriel Jesus in the Arsenal frontline and will also provide another option in the attacking midfield positions. Arsenal remain in talks with West Ham United over Declan Rice, having had two bids rejected for the England midfielder. Rice would be a club record signing if Arsenal can find an agreement with West Ham, but they also face competition from Manchester City. Arteta and Adu would also be interested in signing a second central midfielder, to be signed as well as Rice, if a buyer can be found for Thomas Partey. Arsenal remain interested in exploring a move for Brighton's Moises Caicedo but are currently behind Chelsea in the race for the Ecuador international.